over three decades in working in fashion, it just gave me, opened a whole new life for me. I was thrilled, amazed, and completely drove me to create the looks that the designers wanted. It was amazing that th that whole time of my life was fabulous. And I went through boxes and boxes to look for pictures to show you. Designers always gave me a reference look. And then, of course, I created what I wanted. This is a beautiful look. And eye makeup, the smoky eyes and the pale mouth is a universal look for most designers. This is a two-tone, which works lovely, beautifully. They also gave me hair references. And I always told them, don't do exactly what somebody else has done because you will get trolled for it. So we always, I always tweaked it and changed it a wee bit. Samanth wanted a matted look, the whole hair matted on either side. So that took forever as well. There are designers who just want white lines and black dots and all of that. Rajesh Pratap's look is one of my favorite. It's really beautiful. Ashish Soni hair uh, swept back uh, out of the cold ice chilly water with the ice, uh, the eyes frosted out under the eyes. All of that just worked beautifully for him as well. So underneath the next, on top of the ponytail, I attached this little um, cup with dry ice and water in it. And it created this magical, uh, smoky, beautiful look. So the whole look was just as if she is freezing over and she was frozen. And, and to see 22, 25 girls walk out looked beautiful. Another show for Ashish was bald um, heads and so Krishna's hair is below her shoulder length and it went into a skull cap and airbrushed and of course the skull cap with a uh, sequence head is Manish Arora he first started it which was beautiful path breaking to have all those girls walk out was beautiful so I did this beautiful uh, you know a flower on the eye and this is what it translated to on the ramp and it was just, we had a standing ovation when all the girls walked out and all that screaming. But he always did something different and amazing to all his looks. Every single look was different. It drove the artist to give him exactly what he wanted. And that, of course, uh, kept me on my toes. This is another fabulous, fabulous look. Very wacky. And that translated like this into On the Ramp. The cones were pre-made and attaching them was a huge headache, but it was, it actually eventually looks super stunning. Not just the cones, the mohawk look as well. The mohawk also to attach it onto a girl's uh, head is just really difficult. But, you know, when you give them what they want, it works. This is a little uh, lacy eye patch, which with the uh, magnifying glass did wonders. Sometimes he went a little bit more sober. Um, these are glittery eyes with a pale mouth and bindis around the eyebrows. So this I found one of his uh, calmest looks, actually. Um, he always broke the rules. And some of the designers just wanted beautiful eyes, beautiful hair, surreal looks, very, very stunning girls. The smoky eyes and the pale mouth works for most designers. And the little bindi under the eyes that I spoke about, which I have done um, many times, this is this this I use black. And Rabani Raka always wanted the girls to just look beautiful. And so it was smoky eyes and pale mouth for them. And the girls really did absolutely beauty was, I mean, just like their clothes. But not all designers want beauty. Some of them want completely over the top looks, but it works for them. And it works for me and it works for their clothes. Tarun Thaliani, on the, on the other hand, just he just wanted his girls to look stunning all the time. So he says, Ambika, keep the skin tone beautiful, moist, the eyes beautifully done, the hair supremely styled, the lips stunning. And it always worked for his clothes, just absolutely stunning clothes. He's one of my favorite, favorite designers. Sexy, beautiful, stunning. He gave me a glass uh, globe to attach to the head with all the hairs shoved in. And we did that for one of his shows. JJ Valaya, on the other hand, he wanted all his girls to have the same texture, same length of hair and uh, all of that. So whether it's waist length or shoulder length, all the hair had to be exactly the same. I love this look as well. That whole crimped on top looks absolutely 
stunning. Uh, Abhishek and Nandita, they wanted the, the Harajuku Japanese look on their girls and managed to pull it off. It looked like that on the ramp. It looked so stunning. And I shot first with uh, Abhishek and we created the look and then it translated for their show. It just looked absolutely, absolutely beautiful with all the clips, extended hair, the ribbons, the different hair. Even uh, Deepika Padukone walked for him and uh, she was a model at that point of time and carried off the look beautifully. Always and always a pleasure to do Deepika's face because she is just stunning. But those days, I think she was... She hadn't lost all the weight that she wanted to because now in Bollywood, she's skinny. Her, her face is much sharper. The cheekbones stand out. As a model, she was, I think, on, a little bit more on the, can't even say heavier side because she was very, very slim even then. But the face wasn't as angular as it is now. And now I think she just looks so beautiful and so stunning. Like I said, I use a lot of things on the hair to create the look that I want. For Manzar and Harsh, we did just beautiful, stunning stuff on the hair. It just looked absolutely stunning, if you ask me. I mean, huge, beautiful gold leaves and some of them airbrush black and all of that. It just looked really, really beautiful, like their clothes. It just looked really, really stunning. This is a look I did on uh, Ash and we loved the look before and after. So we took pictures of her with the the you know the clips and everything on and the after look looked stunning of course this was much earlier on in her career and she was young and as beautiful as she is right now lisa ray is one of my all-time favorite models did a look for her which went into every salon all over india this is by tarun khival the picture and he won the hazel bland masters award for it short for big brands as well not just shows and of course, I can't forget the butterflies. So the butterflies were handmade by me and I did a beautiful shoot with them. And flowers, these are two things that I love putting in the hair. Flowers and butterflies. And so working with flowers, any kind of flowers, always drove me to do some really beautiful stuff. And here is um, Bhavna Sharma in yellow flowers, looking so, so, so stunning. And of course, the flower story started with me when I started doing brides. And, um, you know, bride, when you work with brides, you tend to work with a lot of flowers. And I just love the different arrangements that I can do to give the bride exactly what she wants. She looks beautiful here. And she loved and I love the way she looked as a bride. She looks super stunning. Rina here, I remember her name to date, even though it's been 20 odd years she made one of the most beautiful brides.